I think Cumbria increasingly is becoming a hotbed of eco warriors doing passive houses, which is fantastic. So, yeah, very pleased about that. That's our house arriving. Well, it's a very exciting day. This is uh, the day that the uh, timber frame for our house is being installed. This particular house is in Kendall in Cumbria and will be the first passive house in Kendall. I'm the project architect for this passive house. It's a very clever system. Originally developed and designed in Germany, but now increasingly used as a benchmark of eco housing in the UK. It's definitely the way to go, I think. It's about an 85-90% reduction on the normal heating load of a normal house and that relies on super insulation and air tightness. So the air tightness of this particular house will be somewhere in the region of 0.3 to 0.6 air changes at 50 pascals which compares to the normal building regulation of about 10 air changes. And on beautiful sunny days like today it gets most of its heat source from the sun and from the activities of the occupants and their appliances inside the house. Well, this is me walking in through my front door. It's home, it's home. Well, this side of the patio door is the living room, the other side the dining room and kitchen. Yeah, look at that. It's really beautiful. I'm Trevor Lowis, owner of Eden Insulation, and we build closed panel energy efficient frames. In a difficult situation, you know, a residential area where we didn't start until nine o'clock in deference to the local population trying to get to work, we're very pleased with progress. We've crane erected the ground floor panels and the floor panels in this morning, and I think as we speak, the wagon arriving, that'll be the second floor panels, and hopefully later on today we'll get on to erecting the trusses. I think this is a really, really good way to go because it basically gets the shell up really quickly. You can fabricate the main wall panels and floor panels under warm, dry conditions. They're pre-insulated off-site, so as long as you pick a clean, warm, dry day, you can get the house up in 48 hours to a really high quality standard. It's such a clean, tidy site with very high precision detailing which makes the follow-on tasks of block work, render, slating, windows, MVHR system all much easier. I think it's a really good way to go. This is our third one in Cumbria. We did another one with Trevor at Crosby Ravensworth. We started by wanting something that you know, was highly insulated, um, was going to use a lot less energy, a bit of combination of um, well, lower bills for us, but a kind of saving the planet a bit. Passive house seemed like the obvious thing to do, really. And it's that business of trying to meet a particular standard. It gives everybody a benchmark to work to. Once we'd got our design through planning, we then were pretty convinced that we wanted to use a timber frame construction. We really tried to, to keep it local. So the timber frame came from Appleby, which is five miles away. Trevor recommended a local builder. So we moved in in the middle of May. So we've been in the house for a month. This is the MVHR unit that provides the ventilation in the house. And this is the water tank that's associated with the air source heat pump. We really enjoyed it. Um, we're always involved, but the team worked really well, and it's gone up in what six or seven months. Yeah, that's well, been great. Yeah.
passive house is such a fantastic model for building such a robust and a rigorous certification process that makes sure everything's done correctly. We're very fortunate to have on our doorstep the UK arm of ecological building systems who provide all the specialist tapes and membranes and boards that allow us to achieve this high level that's required for passive house. We're a Cumbrian company based in Carlisle. We've been involved in lots of passive house projects um, throughout the UK. But what is particularly great is to be involved with Cumbrian passive house projects with EcoArc and Eden Insulation, getting a few projects under our belt and, and obviously awareness throughout Cumbria. Education is one of the mainstays of what we do. So we're very happy to work with trades and contractors to upskill the building trade within the UK and really the only way you can do that sometimes is getting onto site and getting on your knees and putting some tapes on and showing people how they work and what's the best way to apply them. Tuck that in like that. Passive House is a brilliant example of a low energy building. Once the word gets out and more people appreciate that they can have a home that uses less than £100 to run a year for your heating element then I think it will be appreciated that this is the way forward, especially as energy prices rise. We're here to do the preliminary test on this new build passive house. Little fan in there, takes air that way, out of the building. So we start off by, by depressurising so the building will be lower. At which point, if there's a leak, it comes back into the gaps. The top one is the difference between inside and outside. So we're now we're up to 50 pascals. It's a smoke gun, you know, it'll deflect the smoke if there's air leakage. I can't even feel it without. I don't think you're going to have any danger of failing here. The target for building it is a maximum of 10. Yeah. And we're down at below 0.2. 50 times better. That's the second best reading ever achieved in the UK. <laughs> this, they know what they've got because it's parcel fail. This is my personal best ever test in 27 years. So yeah, they've got the design right and they've built it right. Now they just need to protect it from the finishing trades. So it's okay right till the end and it gets handed over.